we live in a world of activity. Activity outside, activity inside. But you want to have a still center around which these things revolve. Otherwise you get spun out. As I say, the ways of the world. You have gain and you have lo loss. You have status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. That's pretty much what the world has to offer. And these things, as you notice, come in pairs. And they spin around. And the important thing is that let them spin around you, but you don't have to get caught up in the spinning. Otherwise, it's like going too close to a machine that has lots of gears. And if your shirt gets caught in it or an article of clothing, your hand gets caught in the gears, you get pulled in, pulled in, you get smashed by the gears. But if you can stand outside and watch the gears turning, then there's no problem. The problem is that sometimes the, the gears seem to be referring to us. They seem to be calling us out. They mention us by name. They say that you're this, you're that, and you get caught up in what other people have to say, what other people think, what other people are doing. And although it is necessary that we do get involved with other people, you have to be careful to make sure there's part of you that stays separate. This is one of the reasons why we meditate and take the breath as our foundation. Because the breath is here not only while you're sitting with your eyes closed, but it's here as you go through the day. Try to make that your foundation. And let everything else just spin around that. But you can stand firm in your foundation and not get pulled in. That way we remember why we're having events like the Gitin. We're trying to create a place where people can train their minds. So that's the uppermost thing as you go through the day. All the activities of setting up, getting everything prepared for tomorrow. So remember, we're doing this to train our minds. We're training ourselves in generosity, we're training ourselves in virtue, trying to make sure that the things you say in the course of the day are right speech. And you train your mind in developing good qualities, like goodwill. That's the first good quality the Buddha talks about when he talks about meditation as a form of merit. Having goodwill for yourself, goodwill for the people around you. May we all be happy. If you keep that attitude in mind, then you can go through the day without getting snagged on things, without getting caught up in the gears. And that way it becomes a genuinely meritorious activity. It all depends on your mind. <laughs>